Okay, clothes but no cigar. Um, so anyways, I went on the server today. Um, it looks like a pretty decent server, actually, all things considered. Um, my only concern is that it's not really, it doesn't have anything on it yet. Um, so I need to talk with the people that are on it, get sort of a Skype thing set up, and, um, start sort of the process of figuring out what their goal is, what they want to build on the server, and how they want it set up. Um, as far as I know, it's a lot, gonna be a lot like a Minecraft style server, which I am all about, um, just because it, I know that a lot of people see that sort of thing, but um, I think it's the the whole style of Minecraft. Um, as long as you're not copying people, um, you really are dealing with some pretty good, pretty good. Um, hold on, let me get my mind clear. Okay, clear it, and now say things <laughs> um you really are dealing with a big variety of people a lot of diversity so um it's much easier to sort of make a minecraft style server than it is to make a specific server geared towards specific people um so that's kind of what i crap freaking a all right you we gotta go the long way, apparently. And it's gonna be nighttime. Perfect! Come on, let's go. Don't have time for this. Um, so, I, I need to kind of figure out where they're gonna go with it and all that stuff, but uh, certainly, um, I do want to do a mine, uh, uh, sort of a multiplayer based server uh, let's play. So, um, the one thing that's all I've always been concerned about is what is going to make it different from, come on, what is going to make it different and set it apart from my single player series other than, oh, you're dealing with other people. And the only way to really separate it out is to be able to actually, oh crap, come on, come on guy, get up here. No, 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 you stay up there. Frickin' nay. Alright. Gotta take the even longer way. <sighs> Come on. Let's go. You lost your lead. Of course you would. Alright. Um. So, I need to figure out that. I need to figure out how are we going to really separate it out from that's going to be a treacherous walk how are we going to separate this thing out um from my single player i am going to bring these cows up there and i will meet you guys back when i'm done okay one cow made it the other cow died uh one thing i want to note that's actually really cool is uh that was used with one lead right there um which before we've always had trouble with sort of the the um putting leads um, on fences when you only had um, it took up two to actually lead the animal and then use the lead for the uh, uh, the wrapping part um, one thing I also want to note as a side thing for these leads is I wouldn't mind taking string and making rope instead of what the recipe is um, but I do understand the whole point around it is so that we can use slime balls. Sort of an excuse to do that. And I still need more string. One thing that I've been really annoyed with as of late uh, with this game is I haven't been able to get a lot of spider silk. Or I should say um, string from spiders. So, yeah. By the way, we've got a little cow right over here, so I wasn't too worried about getting um, a cow. Now, the question is, are we going to be able to actually make this work? And the answer is... 
Yes. Come on. Perfect. So this means leather, which means books, which means everything that goes with that. Uh, I think if I use an empty hand, there you go, and then we can, where's the sheep? Usually the sheep likes to sit in my bedroom, but, okay. So this, uh, gives us reason to actually make another wheat farm. There he is. Come here. Looking out the window. You ain't allowed to. Uh, the only thing we need now is is pigs, and that's not really a high priority for me just yet. Um, but let's get some wheat and feed these hungry animals. Get us a baby. Uh, and eventually I will put them into pens. Nice. I didn't know that was an achievement. Um, so yes, I just want to talk to you guys. This is going to be the farm spot. I told you guys that yesterday, I think, but I'm going to push it back and have some really awesome windows at the top. Um, and then I'm going to start to dig this back and uh, going to have some uh, pens. Now, eventually, as we get more advanced, I get better tools and all that stuff, we're going to make this base into something a lot better um, and reorient things again. Right now, my biggest, uh, I guess, need, I want to start the base right here and uh, basically what we've got going on right now is we've got two rooms that you have to enter before you actually get into the big base um, so what I was thinking is to have a couple different choices with this um, first choice would be to sort of have like um, I guess like a really long range like you know those movies where you have the secret agents going through like a bunch of rigmarole to get to where they actually want to go um that's sort of what I was thinking to base this off of but I don't know necessarily if that's what I want to do so yeah that the other thing I want to do is I need to get three obsidian and we need to go about a uh, figure a way to go about making ourselves some enchantment tables and get a full enchantment set up. Um, one thing I will note, we have enough to do it and lots of levels to spend. So I want to make sure we get a diamond pickaxe, throw these back in here. Do I have any obsidian? I think I might have... Hmm... No. Maybe... Because when I went to the um, village a little while back, a couple episodes ago, I think I found obsidian. I might have left it over there, not thinking about it. Ooh, do we have a bucket? Yes, we do. Perfect. As you guys can see, I told you guys this last episode, though. Um, I did get my stuff back, so if you missed that episode, definitely check that episode out. You know, I've been having fun with these episodes, and I have to tell you guys, found them actually a lot more entertaining um, than previously. And I think one of the reasons why is because there's actually, you know what's going to happen, you know where we're going, and what we're doing, and the struggles that I need to face in this time of need. No, but seriously, I've um, been having a lot more fun doing this. I think there's some lava over here. If I remember correctly, on the way back, I almost fell into it. So kind of a double thing would be to take care of it. Uh, the other thing that I've been doing, other than networking and stuff, um, getting my uh, videos back up and running. Um you know, a lot of times when I get busy during the week, I totally, totally, totally forget uh, thumbnails to put in tags, descriptions, and all that stuff. So I had to go through today and kind of fix all that up. Now, where? Where's the lava? 
Mm, somewhere around here. Um, we are at 180 subscribers, back in the positives after doing a little bit of networking. I've always found that that does the trick. Um, if you are kind of at a plateau, uh, the best advice I can give you is do a little bit of networking. Talk with some people and uh, basically all I really do is I just watch some other people's videos and kind of give them some feedback and... Um, a lot of times they'll come to your videos and check you out as well. Um, never, never, never do the, oh, hi, my name is so-and-so. And if you check out my videos and subscribe, I'll check out your videos and subscribe. Uh, because that's just kind of creating a little bit of a pyramid scam. Um, I really thought there was lava out here. I know there is, it's just... So many trees. I knew it was also by water, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Kind of just hoping. Could have found a... Thing. I did find a huge cave system. So, I mean, I know where I can get... Uh, lots of... Of the, um... Um, obsidian, it's just I wanted to avoid that cave system if I could. Maybe we'll find it on the way back and hopefully not fall in. So if it's by water, it may be in one of these rivers. So if we follow the river, maybe it'll lead us to it. I'm hoping. I know it was coming from this way, I just... Dang it. I was kind of hoping that it'd be... Closer. Egg on the top of a tree. Somewhere. Let's F3A this. I'm, I'm really hoping that that stuff gets cleared up because I just... One of my pet peeves on this game is that... Is, it's like no matter what you do, whenever you walk a, even a short distance, all of a sudden you get this huge um, chunk error. So, gotta, gotta figure that out, guys. And I don't know, maybe it's something I'm not doing right. I really don't. I think our best bet... As much as I don't want to, I think our best bet is going to be let's wait until it's dark. See? Wait until it's dark and then um, should be able to see lava from there. So um, I will meet you guys back here when either I find lava or it's dark enough where I see it. Alright you guys, we're back. So I found a lava source. This is actually the next day. Oh god. I have to break now. Ah! Okay. Let's put this here. Boot to do do. Now, sometimes this happens. We'll see. I just need two. And actually, this is not like really far out because I know you guys are seeing a swamp biome. I made the mistake, apparently, of going way, way out there to actually get um, a swamp biome. One is, like, literally right here. And I don't, uh, don't exactly know why I didn't go this way. Probably because I didn't know one existed, so got to cut myself a little bit of break there. Okay, now we need to head back to the house. Um, just been doing off-camera thinking. Um, not sure where I want to put the enchantment table, but I was thinking of doing, like, an actual library. Library. I talk good. Um, library in the, um, in the whole... Why is there... Is that a jungle?
that's a jungle. I will see you soon and get some melons. Ho ho ho. There's something to do next episode. Um yeah, so basically um thinking about doing a library. Now that we have a cow farm, it shouldn't be too hard once we get uh the actual farm farm there. Um I need to do some research. I'm gonna need to get uh quite a bit of redstone. Wow. Uh to get it done, but um I wanna make farms for all these animals um, and it's just gonna be as simple as you know getting a bunch of um, holes dug in the ground pretty much and uh, I think most of those farms are the same where you put the the fire blade and uh, the, the cows when they grow up they burn to death and then the items drop they go into a dispenser we're all good so as long as I'm around there we're good to go the only thing I would need to do is feed them. Um, but once we get a... I'm, I'm thinking a uh, double chest full of cooked uh, meat. Then um, I think I will sort of turn off the machine um, until I'm ready to, to get it back. But the leather is what's going to be serious um, grinding with those guys. So... The other thing I want to do is I want to build a room just for uh, the wheat. And the way it's going to work is it's going to be sort of like steps, boop, 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 up. And um, and then all those steps are going to be separate um, rows of wheat. And they're going to go out four, 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 four and with a stream running down the middle. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to have pistons in the back. And those are going to open up floodgates when all the wheat is ready. And uh, all of that is going to drain down into one large pocket. Um, which will collect all the wheat and we'll be good. Uh, yes. Two obsidian. Oh no. Do I need three? What happened here? Oh, this bug. Yep. I totally just ran off with only two obsidian. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Crap. <laughs> Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, happy mining and crafting.